China is already flooding the world with affordable and actually very good quality lithium batteries. But a big and very crucial component of many, but not all lithium batteries is cobalt. Well, China has a plan to flood the world with cobalt, and here is why it is doing that. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Cobalt is widely used in the electric vehicle sector, where it's combined with nickel to produce high energy density lithium batteries. Outside of China, about 80% of EVs sold use cobalt in the battery. China's CMOC group boosted its cobalt output by 144% during 2023, keeping it on track to overtake giant commodity group Glencore. Chinese mining companies have sharply increased their cobalt output in the Congo. Of course, a lot of that cobalt there coming out of the Congo, unfortunately, is mined using child labor. However, Chinese companies are seeking to expand their market share. They don't want to just take over lithium battery production. They're saying we want to take over lithium production and cobalt production worldwide. This is putting further pressure on a commodity whose price has tanked. Cobalt is widely used in the electric vehicle sector where it's combined with nickel to produce higher energy density in lithium batteries. However, not all the EV batteries use cobalt. In fact, many batteries actually use lithium iron phosphate. So they don't have any cobalt in those batteries. And Tesla has shifted from nickel manganese cobalt batteries or NMC, which obviously use cobalt, to having most of its vehicles now using more affordable and longer lasting LFP batteries. Part of the reason that Tesla made that change as well is because of environment and political, geopolitical concerns. Tesla is less reliant on um, basically having cobalt, which may or may not come from dubious sources. Unfortunately, surging supplies, mainly from the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Indonesia, have forced prices down drastically. What do I say unfortunate? I mean, it's good for battery suppliers, good for EV prices coming down, but not so good for investors who have lost enormous sums of money. According to Reuters, China's CMOC group boosted its cobalt output by 144% last year, keeping it on track to overtake giant commodity group Glencore as the world's biggest producer. It's believed that the Chinese government possibly are trying to flood the cobalt market in an attempt to control a larger share of the market and oust marginal producers. It's exactly what CATL are doing. CATL, the biggest battery company in the world, which is based in China, they own around 35% of global battery market share. And they're saying they will halve the cost of their batteries by the middle of this year. Now, the battery prices have already come down. Their battery prices already came down 40% last year. This will make it cheaper than ever to manufacture EVs. Now, EVs using cobalt in the battery pack traditionally are more expensive than lithium ion phosphate batteries, but because of this big push in this big release of cobalt worldwide, it's pushed cobalt prices down. So that means companies like General Motors and Ford and others who use uh, NMC chemistry batteries, they use cobalt in their battery packs. The prices of their battery packs should in theory be lower this year, enabling them to push down the price of their EVs. Will they do that? Well, probably not, but they should. According to Morgan Stanley, global output of refined cobalt supply is going to climb approximately 23% this year, creating a surplus as in a surplus of 75,000 metric tons this year. It's expected that by 2025, China will own more than 50% of the global cobalt market. That already owns the lithium battery market worldwide. Around 70% of all lithium batteries manufactured globally are manufactured in China. And that percentage has actually grown over the past 12 months. Well, if lithium, lithium batteries wasn't enough, China now believes they can own the cobalt market as well. Like I said, though, unfortunately, the reality here is there's not too many scruples here from Chinese suppliers with where their cobalt comes from. They don't really care if it comes from a mine in the, in the Congo where uh, possibly slave labor or child labor is used. 
They just want to take over this sector of the market. Now, I'm not saying China is the only country that does this. I'm sure there's other countries that do as well. But unfortunately, the truth is, if you're buying an EV and it has cobalt in the battery pack, realistically, you could be buying a product that's probably not really all that ethical. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.